Look at all these iron cows. What's going on, guys? My name is Brock, and welcome back to another Mod Spotlight with your buddy Porpoise. Hello, how are, how are you all doing? If I can freaking talk. Um, today we're reviewing a mod called the Iron Dimension, which doesn't actually only have iron dimensions. It has three dimensions. Uh, one of them is currently very heavily under development because it's not. It's pretty, it's pretty preliminary. But uh, we're going to be looking at all of them today. The most uh, impressive one. I think is the iron dimension. It's what it's named after. It's the first dimension that they made. They just recently added the golden, the golden diamond dimensions. But we're gonna be walking through all three of them, starting with the iron dimension. Now, for this mod, you're gonna to have to build a portal out of the blocks of the respective dimension. For example, iron dimension, iron blocks, gold dimension, gold blocks, and diamond dimension, diamond blocks. Obviously, diamond dimension will probably have some good stuff for you in the future uh, because it's the most expensive. But they're all pretty expensive, actually. It's like what is it? Minimum ten blocks so that's pretty that's a lot anyway to get to oh we shouldn't have this this is for to crafty crafty craft to get to each one of these dimensions starting with the iron dimension you're gonna have to have eight of the respective ingot and a flint and steel put the flint and steel in the middle ba, 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 ba. surround that son of a bitch with some iron or whatever the respective uh, element m element material is and you get that materials flint and steel so to light the portal, you have to use that materials flint and steel. Iron flint and steel makes the iron portal. Pop, jump in there. Okay, and this is the iron dimension. As you can see, it's pretty gray. It's actually very gray. It's actually entirely gray. There's nothing here that's not gray except for the green of the ore. Because uh, I added these to the stuff that you're looking at here. But as you can see, there's some cows, and there's also a lot of iron golems. The backstory is that uh, iron golems live in this dimension, and that when villages are attacked by zombies, the iron golems are spawned. And they stay in the village for the rest of their lives after they fight the zombies off. So there you go. Anyway, uh, first things first. This is some stuff, this is items that the uh, mod adds, especially uh, from the iron dimension anyway. First thing you have is a super iron stuff. Armor and gear, I'll show you that in a minute. Radioactive iron stuff, also show you that in a minute. This is the radioactive iron stiff. So hold on, let me actually grab this, uh, this pickaxe, a super iron pickaxe. Go to game mode zero. I'll show you how you can mine this ore. There you go. So you just pop that in a furnace, you get radioactive iron ingots to w with which you can make this stuff. It's just like normal tools. You get sticks, you get the radioactive iron ingots, and you can make all of this. Pretty good stuff. I like it a lot. I like how it looks. It's very cool. It's very, uh, it's very lit up. It's very, very, very light green. And also, it's also like enchanted. You see that? It's probably kind of hard to see because it's so light. But anyway, moving on. Super iron stuff is actually pretty cool how you get super iron stuff. Come over here to this cow. Actually, I actually already have one here. Trap one in this little box. These are iron cows. They only spawn in the iron dimension. Let's break in. Oh, we're not in the we're not in the correct game mode anymore. Break in with them. Beat them down. Beat them down. Beat them down. Boom. Super iron ingots. So the cows drop the super iron ingots, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so it's actually really easy to farm this stuff, which is very very good because at once you actually make the manage to make the portal to enter here, which costs a lot of iron, you get a lot of iron back, which is cool. But yeah, you use the super iron, iron ingots to make super iron swords and armor just like you would with normal armor and swords and weapons and such but yeah uh, as you can see cows spawn randomly iron golems spawn randomly this is all um there's a specific name for this grass but it's just like you know iron grass or something uh and yeah oh the uh, radioactive ores the iron radioactive ores will spawn gen they will generate randomly when you load up the world for the first time so yeah there you go right moving on to the next dimension now that was the most, oh by the way, I don't know, this is a glitch I guess, but whenever you spawn back in, it spawns you like way underground. I was really confused when I first spawned back in, I thought it was a bug and it crashed my, it uh, corrupted my world or something. But then I punched and I realized I was just stuck underground. Punching the portal out, okay. Let's move on to the next dimension. Let's go to gold, same deal. Get the flint and steel, pop that sucker in the middle, surround it by the golden ingots. Bam! Golden flint and steel, very bright indeed. Light the portal, and hop in. Okay, there we go. Oh. Well, that seems to be a glitch of some sort. Uh, there is a diamond portal here. I did not put it there. That is strange. Right. Uh, currently, there are no cow mobs or ores in the gold dimension, but there are these guys. These are gold golems. I like the texture on these guys. They look really cool. Obviously, as you might guess, when you kill a golden golem, it drops gold ingots and what is that flower it dropped a flower 
There you go. I did not actually know that dropped flowers. But, uh, yeah. There you go, I guess. <laughs> cool. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, I guess it can drop flowers sometimes. But yeah, lots of golden ingots, although there's not really much of a use of gold for golden ingots in Minecraft at all. Uh, if it so interests you, you can use all of your useless golden ingots to get inside this realm and get more useless golden ingots. There you go. Moving on. Let's go back out just to make sure we don't bug anything out by going in the portal inside that realm. That might mess things up. Okay. Last realm we have to look at today is the Diamond Realm, which is probably the less interesting of the three. Nevertheless, we're going to check it out. Uh, I keep... I hate when I have the search thing up, and then you go into creative menu, and you're hitting E to close your inventory, but then it just types E in the box. There you go, same deal. Flint and steel in the middle, surrounded by diamonds, gets you a diamond, flint, and steel. Obviously, you're going to need at least 10 blocks of diamond to make this portal, which is very expensive, so you'll probably be able to get a lot of uh, diamonds back in the future. But as of right now, as you can see, there's not much to it. Currently, no mobs spawn in the diamond realm, as far as I can see, anyway. I didn't find any spawn eggs. There were spawn eggs for the gold the golems and the uh, cows. But there are no spawn eggs for anything in the diamond realm. And there's also, as you can see, just the diamond dimension portal. Diamond dirt, which is the dirt here in the realm you can pick up, like I said. Soft diamond, which is uh, if you take four diamonds, put them in a square, you get some soft diamond. It's a pretty cool looking block. It's for everything, by the way. Um, you can do this for everything. It kind of just looks like diamond wool, doesn't it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, if you put four in a square. Actually, you know what? I think we might be able to do it in our little mini crafting table. Um, here we need to get out of this game mode. Here we are. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, this isn't even the right thing. Herp derp. Herp derp derp herp derp derp. Where you at, bro? Diamonds. Diamond. Oh, there he is. Ah, alright, hold on. This is insanely more complicated than I thought it was going to be. You know what? I'll just show you on the thing. I will just show you on the thing. Try not to waste your time here. I want to get this mod out of the way. Get it done. You see what it is? You're like, oh, that's a cool thing. And there's no crafting recipe for it uploaded. Anyway, as you can see, there's the same thing. Soft gold. Okay, there's not a crafting recipe for that either. Um, soft iron. There's not. That's odd. Do I have this right? That's iron bricks. So, yeah, you can make super iron blocks. Yes. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know how you make that stuff. Is that just, like, stuff from the realm? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. It's happening. We're doing this. Uh, let's go ahead and go back into game mode one. Get some tools. Um, it's not tools. This is tools. This is tools. Hello, tools. Pickaxe. Okay. Game mode zero. And it drops gold dirt. Okay, so it's bugged. Right. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Somehow the gold dimension and the diamond dimension are, like, connected. Because we had the portal from the diamond dimension and the gold dimension, which was strange. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Nevertheless, uh, that's what the block is. I don't know why. It's, it's just, like, retextured. I don't even know how that works. Because then I'll place this back down and it'll be, it'll be, it'll be gold. Whoa. This is tripping me out. Anyway. <laughs> As you can see, a few bugs, but uh, it's a very cool mod. Lots of potential. Three dimensions from each thing. That's freaking awesome. I love that. Uh, I definitely think that there are some bugs, again, to be ironed out. But nevertheless, it's a cool mod. If you want to check it out for yourself, there's a PMC link down in the description. Go drop him a diamond. Tell him I sent you. That'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, that's been it for me. My name is Brock. And if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Oh. Ah, come on. This isn't the most fluid of mod reviews, anyway. Okay, anyway, Iron Dimension Mods, are, m Iron Dimension Mod, everyone. Link down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll be seeing you next time with whatever it is that I make. Bye!